where you at if you been this shit? Go ahead to youtube.com backslash waterway TV and subscribe to that shit. Yeah, you know the waves in it. Baseball with hitting a home run hitter with the coldest rings. And even on my bad days, I'm a clutch to finish. The track diminished. The booth burnt hands is itching. Damn. What up, y'all? This is Ricky from Waterwave TV. We're here with a special guest. Who am I here with today? LaPat in the building, Mr. Rodeo yeah. himself. What's hey, up, man? Bro? Nice to meet you, man. How you feeling today? What are you doing in Minneapolis, too? Uh, my boy brought me out here. Um, I'm going to be performing at the Opium Theater. Okay. Uh, open up for Tink and Jacquees and Santa. So I'm on tour with Tink right now, going crazy right now. I mean, how's tour life been, or how many stops have you done? I did three so far. Okay. Two more to go. How's it been no, so far? No, I actually got three more to go. Okay. How, how has it been so far? Well, uh, at first I was like real nervous, you know, it's like my first time doing a big, big stage, that many people in the crowd. But now it's like the love and the reception I get from the crowd has just made it more easier. Mm -hmm. know what I mean, so I'm loving this fun. I get to meet so many dope artists, so many big celebrities mm -hmm. and so many cool people like you, brother. Yeah. Uh, what's it like uh, growing up in New Orleans? Uh, early years, I grew up kind of like in the church. You know what okay. I mean? Uh, once Katrina came, I lived in Houston for a little while, came back. And that's where a lot of my street life came in. But um, I kind of kept my nose clean a lot, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, until I got a little older. Mm -hmm. How did you get into music then? I sung in church and played the drums. Okay. My uncle was a drummer, my aunt was like the lead singer, so I kind of adapted to both of them. I'm the first grandchild, mm -hmm. so I'm like a sponge. Anything around I was adapting to. Um, my uncle was in a band, so I joined the band, so I kept like a lot of music things in my life. He was a DJ, so I followed him around while he DJed and stuff like that. So really, I could just say my uncle, he really kept music in my life a lot. When did you know you could like turn music into a full-time job then? Like when, when did, were you like, damn, I, let's, let's try this out? Oh, uh, when I finally got released from prison. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, my song went top 20 on a Go DJ list in Houston. So I was like. What song is this then? It was called Voodoo. It's okay. a song years ago, okay. like back in 2018. It's called Voodoo. Uh, the only platform it's on is on YouTube. <laughs> And uh, I didn't really know much about the business, so I didn't know how to really drop my music or nothing. So I dropped yeah. everything on YouTube. What year is this then? 2018. Okay. So I, I wasn't hip to like things like TuneCore or DistroKid or United Masters. Yeah. So I didn't know nothing about that. So I just upload straight to YouTube. I mean, that's how a lot of people first start, I think, though, is YouTube, uploading to YouTube and just getting the music out there. Somewhere people listen Facts. that they know about. Um, when, when did you kind of start learning about actually getting your music on all platforms and marketing yourself? Like, when did that come by? Uh, it was like around 2020 when I first came home. Mm -hmm. I was actually on YouTube watching my old videos and stuff like that, and a DistroKid ad popped up. Okay. And it say, uh, you know, un unsigned artists, you know, distribute their music. Gave this old big old. So you ad. heard about like distributing music through an advertisement? Yeah, through an advertisement. Fire. I was like, okay. And then, yeah. then when you click on it, it's like uh, act as your own label, and it's all exciting. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, okay, I get to be the boss of my own. You know what I mean? Uh, start uploading songs straight through DistroKid. Let's, let's speak on, obviously, your biggest hit song, Rodeo. Yeah. How much has your life changed since the Flo Millie remix compared to when you first started, you know? So when I first started, actually, that version went viral first. Yeah. With Big J. But since the remix, like, tremendously, like, so many calls, so yeah. many interviews. And it, none of it's bad, you know what I mean? It's just, it's that dream come true. It's that moment where I was like, yeah, mama, we did it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I always say I did it for the second time, but... Once the remix dropped, it went like 20 times crazy, 100 times crazy, yeah. you know what I mean? No, that, Radio's that's, calling. That's everything. when I heard about you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, out yeah. in Minneapolis, Minnesota, it's hard, you know, you're from New Orleans, you're in Houston right now, right? Or you spend a lot of time yeah, in Houston. Yeah. You don't hear about too many artists, like, until that major push happens and that major song. But that's definitely how I heard your name but for the first time. Just the different studios, the different video sets I've been on just shows the growth mm -hmm. from where I came from and where I'm at. Yeah. And then where I'm going, you know what I mean? So Did definitely... You, were you, uh, did you ever use TikTok before that song blew up? Nah. You were in a TikTok My DJ guy? actually hit me up like, your song going crazy on TikTok. I'm like, bro, I don't be on TikTok. Like, nah, for real. Like, they got some people dancing to your songs going crazy. And I yeah. went, and I was like, all right, we need to capitalize on this right here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it was kind of like that thing. And I still don't be on TikTok. Yeah. I post, like, my, my content, but I don't be on that active like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I tell people, like, they be like, you need to get on TikTok. I'm like, I would love to, but I'm just not. I'm not that big socially. Yeah. I'd be on the gram though hard. Yeah. Like, I'd be on the gram hard. Right? Yeah. You definitely, you went from, you know, dropping good music and not necessarily having the craziest fan base in that sense, zero to a hundred. Yeah. Real damn quick with that one song. What would you give, uh, like, some advice to some artists that are, you know, waiting for that breakout moment, like, and are maybe thinking about quitting? Like, what would you tell them? That, that's what I definitely tell them. Don't quit. Like, yeah. man, I've been doing this since 2017. And 
You know, I'm just getting my big break. You feel me? I've been scratching the pavement. It get hard. I know money get funny. I didn't took breaks and went back to work. Yeah. But everything else was a plan B. Yeah. This was always my plan A. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything else, my mom was like, yeah, you got all these certifications. I'm like, yeah, I did that the past time. Yeah. But this is exactly what I want to do. Yeah. And if this is what you want to do, you got to do it. You got to yeah. just do it. We didn't learn nothing like, you know, crime or something as simple as rolling weed. We, we didn't know that offhand. We had to learn it. We had to yeah. Perfect it. Same thing with your craft. You got to keep going, keep going, keep going. It's gonna eventually you're gonna master it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What uh last question for you? What do you got coming up later in this year? Coming up, I know we're out here in Minneapolis celebrating you tonight. Yeah. So, uh, I actually shit. dropped what my new single up? June 30th. Okay. So that's like what two days. Yeah, it's coming up. <laughs> yes, yeah, and this is like just like a, a good follow up for rodeo. It, uh, compliments the women, mm-hmm. the dancing scene. Okay. So I definitely want to touch back on that because I, I can't really dance, but I love to see people dance. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like a enjoyment for me mm-hmm. you know so i just want to follow up with that and working on my tape right now okay so yeah and i just dropped the video to the remix with Flo millie so yeah. that's going crazy right now we had like 1.4 million two weeks already congratulations appreciate you brother i mean well this was ricky this is little pat thank you subscribe waterwave tv follow him his instagram is on the screen follow us at waterwave tv you don't want to miss out tapping with his career right now because if you don't now, it's going to be too late later. You get, on, get on the wave early. <laughs> I mean, don't get the back end. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you.